¿Y dónde está mi gente? Aquí, aquí, aquí. Oh, eh, um, oh, I think that's a thing. from On Your Feet. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I've auditioned well, I'm right here. for it a couple of times and I'm just like, I'm in the show, in my head. <laughs> Welcome, mi feet. gente. Well, no, we're not on our feet. We're on our butts. We are on our butts. Because after we wrap, after we just wrap, let our we hair just down, chill. Put our pajamas. Get a nice glass have of our whatever. Drinks. Yes, I'm cheers. drinking mimosa and Jaina's drinking Part some two of the white podcast. wine. Part two. Mm. Part two. Oh, wait. I got a drink because it's not a little H2O. Luck. Never hurt nobody. We had to celebrate. We just had, we to, had celebrate. to celebrate. Jaina brought in a so lovely champagne bottle. So back to the thing that I hate yes. the most. Yes. Or love the wait, most. Wait, pause. Producer, do we have to do housekeeping? Oh, that's right. If oh not, my our goodness. producer's going to yell at us and he's going to be, you didn't do the... No, that's not him. You didn't do the... Mira, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to us. Welcome okay? to our listeners. Thank you for joining us. We're so excited. We're so happy to have you. Um, we're reminding you to subscribe on Apple. Uh, Apple? Apple. 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 That's one thing that... Wait, that hold on. We got to finish the <laughs> housekeeping and I want to go back to it. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe on app don't just, just, just don't forget don't, it's yep. already happened twice yep. it's gonna happen again don't forget to subscribe on apple podcast spotify google podcast no. or whatever your favorite podcast platform is and leave us a beautiful rating and tell your friends to thank you so much listen to the show also and follow us on socials after we wrap show yeah. hey 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 and yeah and follow us on our social media yes. mine is at gabby gabs at Jana Lee Ortiz. Yeah. All the things. Gabby with one B. Okay. <laughs> now we're officially back. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's got the sound I think effects. the mimosa is kicking in. <laughs> I think it's like, ooh, getting crazy on a... What day is today? I don't even know. We don't know. It's some day. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Th- oh, loved, now the giggles I, are I coming out. I love talking about Not myself, a- so I'm gonna. We're still, we're still talking about you, Mel. Oh, we're geez. still talking about you, Mama I just Want to get to the next episode where we talk all about all Gabby about Ortiz? Me? Okay, um, but anyway, I was gonna say I have a really horrible habit of tongue twisting. So if I say subscri- subscribe, well, well, you you call you me out, really, or <laughs> yeah, I mean it's you know three languages. So that that's... and I get very nervous too when I'm like. When I know that people are listening to me, I like, bleh, 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 yeah. yeah, which yeah. I, I'll talk about it more on next episode. Okay, so um, where are we picking up? <laughs> okay, so back to my exciting life because my my yes. my old me would have said boring life, <laughs> but I have to I have to just manifest excitement. You, it is an exciting, and I think life. that's also why I love acting is because I get to live. A life or maybe live through circumstances that aren't mine mm, and not because yeah. i don't like them but because i i don't know i i i i, I the most, I yearn most for fun something part different. about acting it's like you get to be somebody else live in somebody else's shoes mm-hmm. experience what they're experiencing that has nothing to do with your life and yourself yes yes that is so freaking cool yeah it's yeah my favorite part of being an actor but jana you are the leading lady Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. This first Latina actress on a Shonda Rhimes yes! show, ABC, yes! Station 19. I mean, I still till this day remember when the news came out. And I was in really? Atlanta. Yeah. At that time. And I was with a couple of Latina friends because, you know, I always try to stay within the community. Hey, hey. Yes. And it was like a big deal. And I want to tell you something. Um, oh, God. When the episode, the first, the pilot came out um i was babysitting and i put the kid to sleep 10 minutes earlier because i wanted to to watch the show i wanted to watch the show and i was just like king who is this king you see there's a spanish yes who is this who is this lady king she has the same last name as me this is so exciting this is a spinoff like Grey's anatomy's like all through college i watched it you know so like when the news came out it was a big can I say of the F word? It's a, it was a big fucking deal, okay? You're going to make me <laughs> so seriously, I put, you're like I put my, the, oh, I put the kids to sleep. I was like, you're going to go to bed 10 minutes earlier. I'm so sorry. Um, Didn't tell the parents. Put him to sleep. And I watched the show. And I was just like this the whole time. I had no idea what the show was about. You know, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. Shit, it's happening. Waterworks. Dang. Yeah. But really it was sweet. a big deal. It was a really, really big deal. And I'm just, it's. 
you're you're paving a way for for you know the ra- the next generation of actresses, of Puerto Rican yeah. actresses, and we right. And it's crazy to even think about that. I'm <laughs> talking <laughs> we, to you, looking at you in right. the eye, We're doing and this just together. like doing this podcast together, like. Yeah. 2018 Gabby would be like puking right now. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll be like, well, what? well, that's the thing with us too growing up. We never saw. No. We never saw. We only had Selena, we, rest in peace, and then and J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez. That's yes, it. really. That's it. I mean, growing up, I watched Family Matters and Seventh Heaven and Full House. And there, I mean, where are the Latinos? Where, where are you they? You were watching the same thing. I was the Latino. Was and, yeah. 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 Like, that's what we watch. But I mean, Family Matters. Um, what was the other? There was one. Oh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. House. I mean, you said it. And yes, all. That's all we had. It wasn't like a full. I mean, eventually it, mm-hmm. it got there. And, sure. and George and, Lopez was one. Yes. That would came out, come out yes. at night. And I would just watch it. It was mm-hmm. that's all we but had. Yeah, we really never saw like, I mean, I, obviously it's changed so yeah. much, but it, it could it could always and be now better. And now what's crazy is like we get to see Lopez versus Lopez. Yes. So like I'm like, wow, I got to experience George Lopez as a child. And now I get I get to experience mm-hmm, Lopez versus Lopez mm-hmm. as an adult and right. in, in, you know, in the business. So yeah. it's just like pff, mind blowing. Well, I'm glad you connected with. Oh, yeah. With seeing, oh, yeah. you know, someone yes. who represents a Latina character on TV. Mm-hmm. That's huge. And that's what's beautiful about it, too. Right. Yeah. You like see yourself. Mm-hmm. In that light, you feel represented and heard, yeah, and, and, and included. Important, and the then, importance. Of and the if it's another, if it's someone else, uh, you know, if if it's a a Mexican family or if, if it's a story about a Cuban family, you still feel oh, yeah. one like day at a, a time. Part of it. it was like this, like you know, when it yes. came out on Netflix, yeah. Like, but yeah, when it's when it's one of your own, you're like, oh my gosh, that this is it. it this is so just special. like when yeah. you know Ricky Martin, Daddy Yankee, Bad Bunny. When we when we feel. Yeah. our people when we see them when we see them TV, succeeding we see them on, and on the it's cover like of Rolling yes Stones, you win yeah. i win we all mm-hmm. win yeah that's you said and, it when when you win I win, yes we all win yes mm-hmm. so jaina how yeah, does your future look like after, you know what i'd also I'm just like gonna to go know straight that. huh i'd also like to i'd like to know i don't have the answers <laughs> you I don't know what book. it looks like um Five years ago, I did not see myself here at all. Are you the type of person that like plans? Th- I'm the type of person that plans thirty years ahead. Are you that way? You or plan are you like, thirty. Oh, year- I like to. Are you I like psychotic? to be like when I. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Don't call you, me out. You plan yeah. thir- It's like okay, in thirty years from okay, now, I I've, want this, 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 this. I've heard of a five year plan, maybe <laughs> one year plan. You're doing thirty year I'm doing plans, 30 year girl. Plan, yeah. That is that's be- I mean, I'm it, like, I can appreciate that. I'm sweating too. Jeez, thirty years. You know, I'm hitting the midlife crisis. Midlife crisis. I don't want to think about no, that. not. We're but too I, young no, for yes, that. I did not see myself. De- de- I did. I definitely didn't see myself doing a podcast. Oh yeah. I do you know? No. I never. I I love them. I I've been introduced to them you know, in the last few years, especially mm-hmm. after During the, the pandemic. pandemic. Yeah. But like, this is such a beautiful way to connect. And I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm going to say this over and over, but I'm really excited to do this with you because I feel like this is somewhat of a sisterhood, you know, yeah. sisters in arms kind of situation. So yes, no more. Do we have to still talk you about? Still have, okay. Well, yeah. So I just we can, ask we the can questions, go into Gabby. Some more just, fun, yeah, just ask We can me. go into more fun questions. Dina. <laughs> Mira, estás enamorada? Yes. You know what? Yes. Subtitles. It Are is... you in love? Oh, wait, not subtitles. It's translation. Translation. Are you, you in see... love? There we go. That's why. Are you in love? You have me to bounce off of. I <laughs> am definitely in love. <laughs> and this is the time when I just reveal, open up my oh. heart and reveal all the things. I mean, I won't go into detail, okay? Sure, yeah, but I'll no. give you a little something, something. <laughs> um, yes. In love. Well, I got, actually got married when I was, I had just turned 24. Wow. I, I got married after two months. I did. And uh, I did not tell I my parents. That, yeah. I think and I told you about you that. You told me about yeah. Well, I also, because I had to, you know, I put my degree to use and I was like, <laughs> research. doing some research on Jane Ali Ortiz. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, okay, it was right before I moved out to California. I, I'd met someone and, and, I was, I just turned, no, I was 23. Yeah, just turned 24 because that's the time that I shot Scream Queens. 
<laughs> Scream Queens, shout out VH1 season two of hey. Scream Queens. Um, that was like the material that I used for my acting reel for some time. That was such an, an amazing experience. I, I missed that time. I haven't seen oh. any episodes, so if there's any, it's all on YouTube. Can... Oh, okay. It's all a little embarrassing, but no. so adorable. It's adorable. I mean, I was there was one episode where I was holding this like forty pound python. The one, the same what? one that Britney Spears held during the oh my god, the I'm MTV. I think one of her performances for I'm a slave, slave oh. for you. Yes, and I I won that challenge because I used my dancing skills. Yes, but yes, that was an that was the sort of the career move that um, right after acting acting class in New York, I did Scream Queens and I was I shot we shot it out here in L A. and I moved back to New York and. Met this guy two months later, moved to Texas, spent five, six months in Texas, and we worked our way to Los Angeles. And I didn't tell my parents that I was <gasps> getting married because I didn't have health insurance at that time. So I thought, you know what, let's just, this is between us two. And so you didn't have a, did he kneel down? Did he, did he like do some yes. of the traditional stuff? What, what's or? crazy, this is the craziest story. Okay, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? I'm so Putting tired of what spot. people are going to think. It's fine. This is what I did, and I'm not ashamed of it. I was snooping because I'm a snooper. Okay. <laughs> and I was, you know, I was just like, let me see. Let me just see. Not that I was suspecting anything, but I was like, let me just see what, you know, what his DMs are like. Oh. And this is this is the early, early days of uh -huh. Instagram. Uh -huh. And I went into his DMs, and I had ruined the no. proposal surprise because of my nosy it. ass oh, was like no. let me just see what he's talking about and he had told one of his friends holy shit i'm gonna do it can you believe it like i'm gonna propose in cancun oh. so throughout the entire proposal <laughs> i was i was acting <laughs> i put on my, my my best acting shoes and was like <gasps> oh my god <laughs> I kid you not. Like I saw the sock in his pocket and I was like, he's about to do it. He's about to do it. Oh my gosh. And so I like overact, like I overcompensated. So when he got down on the one knee, I also got down on the one knee. Cause I was like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I almost got down on one knee too, but I was like, nope, nope. To my fiance. Sorry. But you didn't know. See, I knew, I, didn't know, yeah. I knew what was coming and I had to act as if it all was a surprise like i you know one anticipated moment yeah. for or one what is it one one don't ask me i, I know. <laughs> producer? An anticipate you don't you yeah it's something that you don't anticipate uh-huh so thank you thank you it was it was an un you know i had to like fake the yeah. unanticipated uh -huh. moment and so oh God. <laughs> i was like oh my god how beautiful and Did i you think cry? like two years later i admitted that oh and he was like oh that's why you didn't cry but yes, I probably would have cried. I may cry <laughs> if it happens the second time around. No, definitely for sure. I will not be snooping. I will not try and find. I'm the worst to keep surprises from. Really? Yeah. Oh, because you're like, something's happening. Something's up. Something so you is smell up. smell it right away. I like, you're smelling I'm it right away. One of those oh, people who know. pay attention to close notes, details. Making notes, guys. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. I was 24. And then I moved out here. I first moved to Orange County and I spent a couple of uh, years in Orange and Irvine. And then I moved up to um, okay. West LA and I was finally like in the Los Angeles bubble. Wow. And that's when I, I mean, obviously the first few years of living in Los Angeles, I didn't have any representation. I didn't have any credits. Like I moved straight from acting class and having that Scream Queens experience to wow. just coming out and yeah. going straight into it. And yeah. fast forward a fast few years, you know, yeah. a, a couple of national commercials and then like plenty of those casting director workshops. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> yeah, exist. We know about that. They don't exist anymore. Yeah. But yeah, um, I ended up booking um, my first pilot with Chris Carter for Amazon. That's when Amazon was oh, just wow. coming out yeah. with their pilots. And that's when... That's when that whole process of like, here's a show. Now the audience, you get to vote, you know, if you want to keep it on air or not. Was that a so thing? I must have That was a thing. That was a thing. 
And so shortly after that was Rosewood. Okay. That was the that and was the first was thing. The... And like before Rosewood, I was like, no, give me the co-star, give me the guest star, give me the recurring. I want to work my way up to a series yeah. regular. And but the industry was that, like, nope. Yeah, the, and yeah, I got the, it was gonna... just here series regular. Take it. Wow. And so yeah, that <laughs> take, was, it. <laughs> take it here. <laughs> no, give me the co-star. I just want that one line. Give me the one line. Oh my. That God. was yeah. That was kind of the wow. experience, the moving to LA okay. experience. So yes. Back to your question of our, am I in love? I don't know love? how yeah. that led up to that. I know. <laughs> yes, I am. But I had to give you a little oh, back history, story. a yeah. little backstory yeah. of I was married for nine mm -hmm. years. And that was a beautiful, um, that was an, it was, it was an amicable, like, um, we, we came together mm -hmm. and, and we also separated amicably. Okay. So okay. I, I'm very grateful for that experience because I feel like. You know, what was beautiful about it was that we came together and we 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 chased our dreams mm -hmm. through that relationship. Yeah. And um and you yes, had each other currently, the process. Currently there's nothing like finding your person mm -hmm. and doing all the things that you love doing together. Essentially having the same love language, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I realized in the past that our love languages weren't compatible. Like my love okay. language is quality time and physical touch and maybe some acts of service sprinkled in. Mm -hmm. But like when, when you find your person that, yeah. sh that shares the same love language as you, that's when you know, oh my gosh, Aww. we can, we can, we can make this work. Yeah. That's beautiful. So are you, so, a, are you like a hopeless romantic or are you more like a virtuous in a relationship? No, hopeless romantic for sure. Like I would love to, I know you're about to do this, but I would love to. I didn't get to, I didn't get to have the wedding experience. I know. So I'm and I, dying that makes me to, so sad. I want, I want that for you. Yes, I really, I'm really dying do. to walk down the aisle and do yeah, the dress. And, I really, and, and I'll be here. To, yeah, no, to tell you everything yeah. about it. Yeah, you. Oh my gosh. Oh my yes. God. No pressure. I'll be a married lady by the time this comes. No, out. you are a married lady. I am a married ah, lady. Ah, yeah. so, so I'll be, be here to, to give you all the notes. Please, what to do, I'll take what it. not to do. I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> well, I I really hope that that's in the future, and because love is beautiful, and when you find that right love person, love is beautiful. It's just you, so yes. To me, in my experience, my relation meeting Shane, and I know we'll talk about this later. It really is a dream come true. It's like one of those things was like. I look back, you know, in my room being like, oh, what do I want out of my prince? You know, like. Were oh, you one of those types where yeah. you oh, just dreamed I, of getting married and, and like. Like Disney fantasy. Oh, wow. And then life happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then life happens. And then you're year, like. 30 year plan. Uh, <laughs> Disney fantasy. Wedding dress. All the things. Yeah. You should. Like my family's like, I'm surprised you didn't get married at Disney. That's how. Oh, my gosh. You are you like obsessed with. Disneyland? We'll talk about it later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Disney together. <gasps> we, should. we should. Don't tease me like that. Jane. No, you, we should. You, you have not have, met no. Gabby at Disney. Okay. You have not. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, look, we're doing. I am a psycho I, in, I a good way. You, in a good we're way. We're doing Disney this year <laughs> because we're also going to talk about it on this yes, podcast. Yes. So speaking of like fun things to do. What do you wait, do? We're, we're not we're not done with the romance. Oh man! I mean, if no, you no, have no, more no, to no, talk okay. about, I'm no, okay. wait. No, 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 now I'm like, no, 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 no. It's it's chime. Chime. we need I, the I, you got some chima. What's I'll up? Keep What's it, up? I'll keep no, it. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to. You no, it's tell great. Me one more thing. Honestly, I have nothing else to share nothing else to say. But you're happy. But I'm happy. That's all that matters. So so happy. So so happy as I've ever been. Two so's. And it's crazy because I feel like the pandemic put so many things into perspective. Like as long as you have love and as long as you have your tribe your people whoever they are where where even if you're not home but the people around you make you feel like you're home that's all that matters that's all I that love matters how you said that because i told you earlier that i started watching the new oprah and michelle obama on netflix show and that's one thing they talk about it i don't want to ruin it for anybody that hasn't seen it yet but michelle says barack is home and i was like yeah <laughs> Shane is See, home. Yeah, I'm a sucker. I, I, we need to do a rom com. We I, need to watch more rom coms listen, and produce. Where is more the petition to bring rom coms yes. back? I know J Lo and Reese Witherspoon have done are, are doing their part. You know what? We'll, but like, we'll, conti I miss we'll continue. Those, yes. We'll continue that that Come rom com. Let's let's come back, please and cast us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. What else? We got to wrap this up. I really want to know after we wrap. Um, after we wrap. 
I really am very interested to get to know about the crazy side of Jaina. The have you ever blacked out? Have you ever done drugs? What is the craziest thing you did in your 20s that you're like, oh, my God, nobody can ever know about that? Wow. Because I have em- yeah, asking embarrassing for moments. I have you're so many that I look back much. and I'm like, Gabby, how did I survive that? Well, the OK, <laughs> the interesting part, I had a little bit of I have a little I have a little bit of a wild. It was mainly from 18 through like 21. Just OK. I was going to say I wasn't two years. crazy. I wasn't <laughs> crazy, crazy because in my 20s, I was so career focused I didn't really travel. I didn't mm-hmm. really drink. I was in a, a, I mean, the relationship that I was in was very like, all right, we're going to, we have a, we have a, a goal to accomplish. We have, we have this to look mm-hmm. forward to. Like we're going to commit ourselves and every day we're going to do whatever it takes to, to achieve this dream. So there wasn't really a lot of partying going on in my twenties. Okay. However, mm. in my late teens, I remember going buck. I mean, this is, it's, I'm not crazy because I wasn't, I did not experience or experiment with drugs. My father was a homicide detective. That's right. And if anything, I, I didn't realize until later in life that I was so by the, by the books, by the, follow the rules, you know, abide by the law. Do not do anything that will make you in trouble, get you in trouble. And so I stayed away from all of that. I did not mess around. And I, yeah. I didn't realize it was because my dad was in law enforcement yeah. that I just didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to involve myself. in. So I was a very, I mean, I did not get into, I'm from the Bronx. I didn't, I never got into a fight until I moved out to LA. Okay. And it was only one. You just punch somebody in the face. Well, I mean, yes. it was more like, <laughs> it was more like a little like cat, cat, fight. cat swing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But Talk that, about that. I mean, that was that was uh, it was uh, like six a.m. downtown downtown in the meat pack after partying. No, this was not even. Oh, I, I, okay. I wasn't even partying at the. This is the thing. What were you doing? At, I was. Well, I was why shopping. Why were you up at six? We were. You're we, shopping we at were six a.m. Shopping in the five dollar. You know the the, the, the swap meets the swap the swap meets the the yeah. So we were getting our little like I have five no idea ten dollar shirts. I mean, this is in my early twenties. I just moved to L.A. And my girlfriend, Kimberly, from, from New York, also my girlfriend, Stephanie, from L.A., like, we were just shopping. And this, this woman tells me, do you have to open the hanger so wide? And I was like, open and of course, so my wide. go-to move is, like, ignore, be the bigger person, uh-huh. don't say anything, don't engage. And my girlfriend from Queens was like, you need to watch who you're talking to yeah and then they started getting into it verbally so all of a sudden i heard well you need to watch out before i punch you in your face and my girlfriend said no you won't bitch and the girl swung at my girlfriend and i went in i'm telling you i never got into a fight i stay i was so good and mind you i mean i i my mom didn't drive i rode the subway and trains like that was my life just being around crazy people But like to that, to me, that was normal. Uh huh. So I had to step in, you know, in this fight and protect my girlfriend. At six o'clock in the morning. At six a.m. in the morning in downtown Los Angeles, (laughs) and that was my first official, my first fight. I felt terrible. Like I had so much adrenaline. I was scratched up, bleeding. Ooh. What? And we we walked away from the situation. Looked back. She came. She was following us. It was wild. Um. But yeah, that was the only but time. But anyway, I didn't. I didn't. No go, alcohol and no alcohol involved. No after party. This was just you shopping at six a.m. for yeah, some reason. For some shirts. <laughs> this for some woman out of nowhere. Forever Twenty One shirts. Yeah, it was wild. Knockoff. <laughs> but <laughs> also, knock like like shirts. back in New York, I remember part my ver- my version of partying was going out with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. We had mm-hmm. like one glass of cafe patron. Oh, nice. We would be like Oof. Cafe Patron on the rocks and we would dance all night. And that was our, that was just what we did. I didn't go crazy. I didn't do the drugs. Mm-hmm. I didn't experiment. I like, so I you didn't went smoke to the club a cigarette. I didn't, yeah, I went yeah. to the club to dance. Maybe a little drink, but dance, sure, dance, yeah. dance, mm-hmm. dance. That was my wow. outlet. 
Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Because I have a whole, we'll talk about it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it's so interesting to like hear, you know, your past life and, and the things that you experience and that how you're telling me and I'm like, oh, that I, I that wasn't my experience. So I'm very excited to tell yeah. you about yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my, my um, past life. Um, Jaina, do you believe in deja vu? Do you believe in like yes. superstition? Yes. Because that's, that's very typical in our culture. I like don't know what you it know, is. putting the purse on the floor that means money oh, yeah. will go away. Do not put your f- purse or, on like, the floor. Or like when you're you're inside your palm, you're scratching. It means you're gonna gain I a lot of money. I heard that if you, if the bottom of your feet itch, you'll get some money. So it's the bo- I always heard the bottom of your palm, you and then when it's the outside, make it both, 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 whether both, and when it's the outside, money. it's you're gonna lose money. Oh no! So no, no. anytime I scratch on the outside, I'm like motherfucker. No, you, <laughs> you know what? what? <laughs> I don't even. That's not. I'm not even. That's that doesn't exist. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean you're like yeah. I, you're that, not even calling the, the that the palms into and under the feet. I love that. I and love you know that. my thing is I I don't know why I do this, but you know when in your wallet if you have cash and all the bills are facing the same the same way from from like smaller number to to largest. Yeah. To me, I'll earn more money or I'll make more money if they're all mixed like they have to be mix matched they have to be facing different ways that one i don't know why i've always had this thing i don't know oh, why like do not do not go yeah. from smallest to largest do just not make them all same. face the same way just throw it all in there i don't wow. it's, it's silly but yes I, I do believe in deja vu yeah have you had moments where you're like oh I've my god been i've been here, here before. before i've done do this think, exact thing do you believe that you were someone in the past life a dog, uh, whatever. No, but I do think I, I will be person. an animal. Af- You'll be an afterlife. Af- okay. Because I always think that I was like some contest, some princess from Spain and came here. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I'm conquer okay. this world. All right. <laughs> Which does not. Okay. A good thing. <laughs> I'm like, why do I have that feeling? But I do want to <laughs> come back as a dolphin. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, your 30 year plan and coming back as a dolphin. I love this dolphins. This is now, I gotta ask you some questions. Yes. This is a, out of I'm all giving things, you, I'm giving you out some, of all things some stuff, a dolphin. Out of all animals, out of all things, dolphin. Yeah. You know I just I, wanna I, swim free oh, or just come nice. back like a mermaid. You know I just what? love mermaids, so I just wanna live in the ocean. So, any, I don't wanna be a shark. Right. I don't wanna be a killer whale because they're in, in the cold. Even dolphins are in the cold too, yeah. but like, you just yeah. want to be a sweet. They're used to the cold. Never mind. <laughs> Don't dolphin. listen to me. They're sweet. They're good people. <laughs> I want to come back as a spoiled dog. Yeah, you know those dogs that just like live their life. Yes. Like they get massages yes. from their owners. They just eat the best food. You'll come back. They sleep all day. They get groomed in the yes. most luxurious way. I want to come out. I want to come back as a like a like a, you know, yeah. dog. <laughs> I want to come back like the spoil me, a foofy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before why. okay, so guess what? <laughs> yes, time's up. Your time is up. You're done talking about yourself. Gosh, what a, are you happy? What a harsh cutoff. Oh, okay. Your time, yeah. Your, your time, time is, is up, up, girl. You are done. done. You are done. Take a deep breath. I couldn't figure out a better way to say it. Hence, why I'm so bad with words I mean, sometimes because like, I'm just like, no, it's okay. I feel like throughout this uh, this after we wrap show series i mean we're gonna we're gonna have so many opportunities to talk about ourselves yeah. and our stories and share our, our experiences like I it's know. a never I'm ending i'm very excited i'm excited yeah. excited what was excited. That? excited excited <laughs> i'm excited too. okay i want to close this part two with a very important question Ooh, was there a moment in your life one moment in your life that you think had the biggest turning point where you just went like, oh my God, I either I feel like a n- brand new person, brand new woman. I've learned right. from the past. Right. And yeah. I, when was I, that? It's a, it's, that's a very loaded question, but I will have, you I have, do have an answer. You have 10 and seconds I, to I, respond. And I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little on the heavier side. Yeah. The, the day that, my mom passed away Mm. was kind of the it's such a life-changing moment for me because you almost you do you don't almost you do lose a part of yourself and I feel like 
my life completely changed when that happened. And so many people could relate to, you know, losing someone extremely yeah. close to you, like someone who, who you almost like, you know, they're the tree and you, you're, you have the branches to that tree and some of the branches just kind of broke off. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it feels like. So a part of you also dies with that person, but whew, I honestly, I, I, I knew this about yeah. you obviously, but I was not expecting you yeah. to say that. Yeah. So the fact that you said that I'm, I'm thank you for, and there will be many more mm -hmm. conversations about grief and, yeah. and, and losing, we'll about it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. people that you love and, it's part and of all life. that, yeah, yeah, and all that beautiful. We, I, I, this, a friend told me it's the the gift of grief, mm. the the gift that 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 you know keeps on giving. You know, it it, it it's a testament to how strong your heart is and how yeah. how much it feels, yeah. how much it can and you know withstand and woo. We will get into that, but and yes, I cannot wait. Thank you. So I can't much wait either. For opening up to me and to the audience and this is gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be fun we're gonna cry we're, we're gonna, gonna laugh. cry we're gonna, we're gonna laugh. crack up yes. hopefully not too much because too much laughing is like okay come on <laughs> come on come get on. it done get it done, we get it done. done. we've <laughs> discovered that we hate that well, yeah yeah <laughs> but it's but, beautiful it's a beautiful thing and in, in the next episode we'll get to gabby oh ortiz which is going to be the best <laughs> episode ever <laughs> ah we did it